Of the five superheroes that were chosen for these cartoons, none had a more confusing run than the Hulk. One day he changes back and forth when he gets angry. Another day he has floor switches and does it on purpose. Yet another day he changes when the sun goes down. And he might or might not have any inkling of Bruce Banner in there while he's the Hulk. Today's story continues that jumbled pattern. At his home in an army post somewhere in the southwest, a frustrated General Thunderbolt Ross is angrily pacing the floor. Betty, I must find a Hulk before he does any more damage. Perhaps if you find young Rick Jones, he might lead you to him. Hmm. There's something in what you say. I'll try it. There have already been times when the General saw Rick and the Hulk together and saw Rick playing advocate for the Hulk. But it doesn't occur to the military man to ask Rick until his very unmilitary daughter suggests it. I say, let's encourage Thunderbolt to retire and put Betty in charge. Attention all personnel! General Ross speaking. Find Rick Jones. Top priority. Over and out. I rest my case. Where Betty would say, go ask him to come in, they'll go out and arrest Rick and drag him in under threat of bodily harm, just like Ross was careful not to say and Ross will get the information out of him. How hard can it be to overwhelm and intimidate a teenage boy? You can't push me around this way. Jones, I'll get right to the point. You've got to bring the Hulk to us. There's no time to lose. Sorry, General. I can't tell you anything. Look, son, this is bigger than you or me. We can't have that creature menacing mankind. Cool it, mister. Nothing could make me rat on the Hulk. As the sullen teenager remains adamant, refusing to talk, the general has no choice but to release him. Then again, this isn't your average teenage boy, and he's been around this base long enough to know what the general can and can't get away with. So General Ross will do the next best thing, have him followed. Now, if he had the sense of a one-legged goose, he'd pick the kid's brain about what the Hulk is and what he wants. He'd do a little, oh, what's that weird stuff called? It puts information in your head, but sometimes it gives you a headache. Research. Ask questions. Ask if the Hulk is really dangerous or if the only reason he has a mat on for this base is because they keep shooting at him. But Ross doesn't want to know the answer to that. If he can't shoot at something, what's he good for? Troops, they found me. But they mustn't find the Hulk. Break down the door. Hulk, you've got to get out of here. Fast. Jump. Break out. Get to the lab in our secret cave. I'll meet you there. Then the mightiest living thing on Earth makes a fantastic leap so powerful that he seems to be flying. He got away again. The general will be furious. So, situation normal. The general is always furious. He gets more furious if he doesn't have something to be furious about. But we'll leave him to gripe to Betty for now. We have other matters to attend to. More precisely, two FBI agents do. Our tip was right, Mike. This town is the same as the other two. They're all motionless. It's as though everyone's been turned into a living statue. If it weren't for the heartbeat, you'd think they were dead. Look, not a flicker of movement. This is the third town they found like this. All the people apparently mesmerized and just standing around the streets, not blinking, not moving, no explanation. It's as if they just stopped in the middle of their daily stuff. Keep that last part in mind. Oh yes, and the town has been ransacked. There's no cash, jewelry, or anything else of major value left. If only we could find a clue, any little thing to go on, but there's nothing. Get the feeling somebody's trying to tell you something? It's too bad they don't have the advantage of narration like we do. It'd make their job a lot easier. Meanwhile, the Hulk zooming through the air. Chances on a desperate situation. A stalled school bus and an approaching train. A dim flicker of Bruce Banner's intelligence causes him to quickly plummet to the stalled bus. Well, maybe that will penetrate Ross's head a little and convince him that the Hulk isn't the mindless, destructive monster the General insists he is. Listen to this. The Hulk converts school bus tragedy. The Hulk has disappeared, but it's believed that Rick Jones, age 16, knows of his whereabouts, although he refuses to talk. Oh my word, it's the Mad Hatter with his super instant mesmerizer. And by the way, Rick is 16. They put his name, his age, and his picture in the paper, so every crackpot who wants to take a swing at the Hulk is going to be in his face. 
Today you could go to jail for doing that. Rightly so. The ringmaster's plan is to capture the Hulk and bill him as the world's greatest attraction. When his circus comes to town, everybody is on the lookout for Rick Jones. The ringmaster says a boy his age can't resist a circus, and he's right. Welcome to the most exciting show on earth. Tonight, before your very eyes, I, the ringmaster, will perform unbelievable feats. But remember, you must not take your eyes off me for a second. And now, behold. That spinning spiral on his hat and the flashing stars on his jacket soon have everyone in a trance. This is how they do it. He spellbinds the whole town at the circus grounds and the crew is free to loot their pockets, their businesses, whatever they want to do. So how did these people get back to their streets and businesses and homes and all that and stay mesmerized? That's why I suggested you remember where the feds found that first group. My brain is getting clouded. I must reach the Hulk before I black out. Hulk, come to me, Hulk! Oh, by the way, Rick has a telepathic connection with the Hulk. Speaking of whom, he's been snoozing back in their laboratory cave. Meanwhile, back in his cave, the Hulk, having rested, steps on the buttons that activate the awesome gamma rays to turn himself into Dr. Bruce Banner, scientist. Oh, I feel ill. I'd better rest a while. My head. These changes take so much out of me. Oh. All episode, the Hulk has been complaining that it doesn't matter what he does, people will always hate and persecute him. I know a simple solution to his problem. Turn that thing off. If the machine allows him to change at will, it also allows him to not change at will. No change, no Hulk, no persecution. And no cartoon. Okay, never mind. Rick Jones has disappeared. We know he's tied up in a circus wagon. General Ross doesn't. Oh, there's Bruce. Perhaps he might know something about Rick's disappearance. Hi, Bruce. You're just in time. Maybe you can help Dad. They can't locate Rick Jones anywhere. He's nowhere to be found. But wherever he is, I have a hunch the Hulk will be there too. What do you think? He thinks you're a wackadoodle obsessed with the Hulk. Get a hobby. Uh... I, I've no idea. Have you set out search parties? Yes, of course. And alerted the army to be on the lookout for the Hulk, as well as Rick Jones. I wish I could help you. I, I'd better be going. I'll drop it another time. But, Bruce, you've just arrived. Sorry, I, I just remembered something I must do. I'll see you soon. The telepathic connection only works with the Hulk, not Bruce, so he has to change again. It's been too long since I read the Hulk comics and the others he appeared in, but I don't remember anything about him and Rick having something like this. Fellow fans, please help me out here. Is this something the cartoon people pulled out of their goosexes? This time he puts on his purple swim trunks instead of his tattered pants. Much more fashionable, not to say amenable to freedom of movement. Elsewhere, the ringmaster and company are doing their thing. I want you to concentrate on the circular lines on my hat. What lines? Dude, I think your hat's on backwards. You'd better let me out of here before the Hulk comes. He'll tear you apart in the circus, too. You fool. I want him to attempt to rescue you. That's what we're waiting for. Why is he suddenly talking like Igor? Rick sends out another mental message. Hulk! Hulk! Come to me! I need you! Boy in danger! Got to get to him! He can follow the telepathic stuff and home in on Rick's location. Gaze into my eyes. Don't look away. The evil ringmaster has hypnotized Rick again. Or not! That shuts off the beam or whatever it's supposed to be. And by the way, Rick, next time try closing your eyes. While the circus moves on to loot another town, Rick eventually wakes up. Which raises the question, why doesn't everybody else? Anyway, he's tied up and gagged, but his brain still works. The Hulk has found him. At last, the Hulk. Don't worry, I'll take care of him. Just aim me toward him. 
The Hulk can stop actual cannonballs, dude. And your head ain't as hard as one of those. Quickly, the power hose. Nothing that lives can withstand its pressure. He's stunned. Now's our chance. As if. The Hulk is playing possum waiting for Rick to tell him what to do. Because that's a thing, too. Now that the Hulk is captured, we've got it made. The ringmaster sure is smart. They got him. Hulk, break loose and come to me. I'm coming, Rick. Moments later, the Hulk has released Rick. I knew you'd come, Hulk. Listen, go back and tie yourself up again and stay there until you hear from me. He'll slip out and bring the feds. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Tonight, for the first time anywhere, we are presenting for your entertainment. Ringmaster, you're under arrest. This is the FBI. You'll have to come with us. With everything they know he can do, they think it's going to be that easy. I think the agents Johnson and Die Hard were trained by these guys. You've got nothing on me, no proof, nothing. Oh, yes, they have. Your loyal performers told all. Ain't loyalty wonderful? When you see someone who's the kind of person that turns on everyone that upsets them in any way, believe them and stay away from them, because they will turn on you, too. Instantly, at the sound of Rick's voice... <laughs> Rick did tell him to wait until he heard from him. He didn't mention any particular combination of words. Maybe a little more precise next time. The ringmaster figures this is a good time to split. Lifting the main support pole right out of the ground. Oh, no. oh save me! Don't let him beat me! Why? But that's not how we good guys do things. Hulk, let him go. Put him down. As the Hulk obeys Rick, armed troops from the nearby command post burst in. The army, they're after me again. Stand aside, boy. That creature must be stopped before it's too late. Too late for what? In one day, he saved a bunch of children and broke a major case for the FBI. How terrible. In the comics, General Ross's almost insane obsession with the Hulk was made very clear. The fact that it's totally irrational was also made very clear. It's not as in-your-face here as it was there, but it's plain to see that he wants to be sure no good deed of the Hulk's goes unpunished. And by the way, Rick isn't standing aside. Up, Hulk! Up! Break through the tent! You did it, Hulk! We're free! You won't escape me forever, Hulk! I swear it! For shame, General. You weren't allowed to swear on TV in 1967. What did I just watch? I don't know why the creators couldn't land on one consistent idea about this guy. It's absolutely baffling. Our Hulk today was as rational as Bruce Banner. The only difference was he talked slower. Bruce keeps changing himself into the Hulk, but until Rick was in trouble, he didn't have a good reason to. And now that the trouble is over and his big worry is the army, go back and change and turn that machine into a jacuzzi or something. With the ringmaster in prison, Rick took over the circus and made the Hulk the main attraction. But they had a falling out when Rick wouldn't allow the Hulk to juggle him. Got to banner, down in my camera race, turned into the Hulk. He can glamour race. Reckon the town with the power of a bull. Ain't no monster clown who is as lovable as ever loving Hulk. Hulk, Hulk. Age boy, do that again. Oh, 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 what's that word stuff called? What the, come on, David, you can say this. Information in your headache, but sometimes it, it could say David. We'll leave him to... <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Reason he had a, has a mat... Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Okay. Stay put, you.